Hey everybody and welcome back to Skyrim Special Edition. Um, we're here inside the um, Sleeping Giant Inn. Uh, in a rather dashing looking uh, Colovian light armour. And we're, uh, well, we're going to have a little look around uh, Riverwood, obviously to begin with. Delphine there. Who we met, who is the uh, landlady, I guess, of the sleeping giant, and Orkner, who is probably a bit sick and tired of her. Um, but yeah, we're going to have a little look around. See how we do. I hope you guys are all doing very well. I'm doing good. Folk is doing okay, you know. He's he's already seen off his first, um, first little den of bandits, I guess. He's got a couple of um, bounties. To have a look at, we'll have a look at these once we get outside. Uh, still pretty dark for. Well, what time is it? Like, okay, it's five thirty. That's actually probably understandable then, isn't it? Um, what are these uh, bounties? Bounty bandits. By Orgroth of ba by order of Balgroth the Greater, to be to all able-bodied men and women of White Run, the bandits located in Silent Moon's camp, in harassing, robbing, attacking citizen visitors. Reward be offered to anybody who kills their leader. Yes, this is the sort of thing we're after. Uh, Dustman's cane. Dustman's cane. Heard about it. Okay, interesting. Um, we read this one, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. The Order of Balgroth the Greater, any season bounty hunters, halted stream camp, harboring dangerous criminals known for horrific crimes. Excellent. Sounds like bandits to me. Uh, what's this one? Capstone Cave, abducted. Okay. And we had a spell term called Clairvoyance, who I imagine he would have uh, kind of been reading that going to sleep, as it were. Um... Yeah. So we're a little bit early up, I think, at the minute, which is fine. Um, we might just go and um, wait in the inn for a little bit. We could maybe have a little look at. Um, is there a smelter around here? We could smelt up some of this iron ore. Over oh, here, there is indeed. Uh, yes. Oh, we can. Turn the mace into iron. I did not realise that. The woodcutter's axe we don't want to. Definitely the iron tanto. Yes, please. Uh, probably one pickaxe would be good. Don't want to do the woodcutters. And the rings we can turn into ingots. Interesting. Well, I think we need seven of. We need five when we have seven. Interesting. Um, then we have like some iron ore though. I swear. Well, oh, here we go. Iron ore. I've actually got 15. Oh, and look at that, we leveled up. Uh, what's a meteoric iron ingot? Two meteoric iron ore. Interesting. Uh, starting to brighten up a little bit now, isn't it? Um, in terms of the level up, what are we going to do here? I'm just going to take a bit of stamina because we will run out of stamina quite a lot. Um, we might want to have a look at smithing actually. Steel and bone mold. Um, okay. Now I have a kind of overhaul of these skills, um, so there will be like new things going on there. Um, so it's interesting. To see what we can do. So we go this way. That does the kind of light armor, as we can kind of imagine. You can choose to make an advanced version for two thousand five hundred golds. Improves items one tier higher. Okay. Can be disassembled by sneaking, allow you to upgrade. Oh, okay. Dwarven auto cannon. That sounds <laughs> kind of slightly mental. Uh, okay. Do we want to do steel? I guess we probably do want steel. But do we want that right now? Uh, archery would be pretty good. Because we were doing some nice damage with that. Um, Might you something like speech would be pretty good if we're going to be selling some stuff. 
I think maybe the smithing is actually not a bad shout to kind of get in on. Because now we can uh, kind of melt down some steel things. Let's have a look at what we can actually craft here. After slash. That's a nice one. Beast steel greatsword. Nice. A boarding axe. That's some very interesting. Uh, crucifix shoulder dagger. The hell are they? Death claymore. Oh, nice. Clubs. Eastern iron shields. Just need some leather strips, actually. That's a meaty looking club. Falchion. Yeah, uh, I've got some bad news though. It seems people are saying a dragon might not be a dragon, but a dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. What? A dragon? In Helgen? Yeah, apparently so. What I saw earlier, flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Okay, well it flew off this way, you must have seen it. You're right, I saw oh, it. Oh, he saw it as well. I want to believe my own eyes is all. A dragon, here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war, now dragons. Trouble loves company, they say. Mm. Naro needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Baldruf. Oh, I was heading there already, so... Not a problem, Alvor. Do that for me. I'll be in your debt. How do I get to the white room from here? Cross the river and then head north. You'll see it just past the falls. Okay. When you get to White Run, just keep going up. When you get to the top of the hill, you're at Dragon's Reach, the Jarl's Palace. Okay. Can I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. I'm all right. Rhinestone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. Okay. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Thanks, Alvor. Mm -hmm. Is the shop open yet? I don't think it's going to be open yet, is it? Oh, it is open. Well, one of us has to do something. I said oh. no. Awkward. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh. <coughs> oh, hi. Sorry you had to hear that. Yeah, it's awkward. Anyway, um... Um, hi. I just want to see what you're selling. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. It did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An really? An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. I could probably help you get the claw back if it was bandits. You could? Got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Okay. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow. No, uh, I'm, I wasn't town. going right. So this is your plan, Luke? Now? Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? I, I also wanted well, to I maybe buy some. A guide. Yeah, yeah no, I, I'll be back, guys. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll, 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 I'll be back. Jesus. Um. What's this? It's a bloody wolf outside town, guys. Actually, need some leather strips, so this will do quite nicely. Oh shit. <laughs> uh. Goddamn wolves. Okay, good. Where'd the other one go? I feel a little bit bad now for letting a wolf loose in town. Come back here, you little bucker. Right, where's he going? Oh, you're dead, son. Now you're trapped now. That's right. Thank you. Let's 
Sorry uh, about that, everyone. A little bit awkward. Uh, where was I going? Oh, down here. Well then, I actually wanted some leather uh, strips, so that's pretty good. What time is it now? 7.30, okay. We can start heading out in a minute, I think. We'll just... Uh, Break down these uh, wolf pelts. Although, can we? What do we need for that pack? We need eight leather strips. Alvor, do you have leather strips to sell? Hey. The finest weapons and armor. Good. Um, fur plate strips. Here we go. I could buy a few. I need. Was it eight? Seventy-two gold. Seems like a lot of money. Got 22 iron though. Because what we could time. craft is a backpack. Very good. That's it. Now we can carry a lot more. So we actually need to sell a lot of this stuff anyway to him, to be fair. Unless we can break it down. Can we break down this into leather? No. Which is probably fair. Uh, Alvor. It's good to see you again. Take a look. You're probably after some uh, used armor, aren't you? Uh, a dagger we might as well sell. There we go. And um, what have you got to buy? Anything of interest? Some steel armor is very expensive. Oof, that is expensive. Um, yeah, that'll do. And your ingots are 61 gold each. Hello? Okay, what can you tell me about Riverwood? It's my mill. Oh. Some folks think it's my town too, but it ain't. The Jarl in Whiterun owns the land and the town. I just pay the taxes. But all the taxes, or...? Okay. Okay. Oh, don't mind if I just... Thank you. Um, oh, we have seven got any leather strips, have we actually, to be fair. But let's see if we can just improve our armour a little bit. Need leather for that, okay. Okay. Might as well do this. Improve ourselves a little bit. Um, would you happen to mind if I just borrowed that one second? Oh, I actually can't improve it because it's enchanted. So sorry, didn't need that. Anyway. Oh, it's there. Those thieves must be mad hiding out there. Those old crypts are filled with nothing but traps, trolls, and who knows what else. Okay, so there's thieves hiding out in the um the barrow. Good to know. We aren't going to head there just yet. Oh, I'm just going to get my sword out in town. Uh, we're not going to head there just yet, but thank you, Camilla, for the info. It is interesting, yes. He's your brother. Um... Okay, well thank you. Let's head out. Wow. This is good looking. <laughs> this is really good looking game. It's lovely. So, we know that Camilla told us, well, she hasn't told us yet, but we believe she would tell us that if we wanted to get to the barrow, we would follow the road up that way. Now, we're at what we know is that White Run is this way. We're going to go to White Run first because I feel like time is of the essence. We need to tell the Yarl. We can come back. If those bandits are holed up there, they're not going anywhere just yet. So they'll give us a little bit of time to uh, head down here and, and see what we can see. Got to be careful along these roads. And there is White Run just in the distance there as it comes through. Um, here's the beautiful waterfalls and uh, landscapes of Skyrim. I actually saw, um, is it Massage AF ASMR? 
I think he played Skyrim for like the first time ever. This I, I find it bizarre that when anybody hasn't actually played Skyrim. It's weird, um, but yeah, he did. I remember him kind of walking down this way as well, and was like, oh wow, this is beautiful. And it was like just the box standard special edition, I think. And I was like, boy, oh boy, you uh, you should check out the uh, modded version. I'm going to head down this road a little bit more. The mountains look really good though, I think. As does this grass as well. But it is seriously intensive up on my computer and I have a pretty good computer still. Uh, so, be wary. Hello there. Hi. Okay, and uh, white runs off this way. Oh, these are the, the couriers. Okay. No, 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 I'm good, thank you. Um, okay, very nice. Oh, there's a meadery. Skyrim would have changed quite a lot, I think, since uh, since he was here in his youth, since Falk was here in his youth, so... White run though, that still still would have probably vaguely remembered. This probably would have visited here at some point. Is that an arrow? <laughs> Is something uh somebody firing arrows over here? Everyone okay? Seem to be some arrows going over here. There seems to be a dead well, giant. Oh. Taken care of. No thanks to you. What do you mean have thanks to me? I'll you guys do not look like you need my help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here with my shield brothers. Sister. What's it what's a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companion? It's an outsider, just been on vacation for a while. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh, okay. Uh, why is there no third option here? Uh, can I just assume like any can anybody join the companions? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Provasco. Okay. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. Okay. If you go to him. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck indeed. Well, I mean, you took on a giant. <laughs> Meanwhile, the farmer just carries on. Nothing happened. Uh, that's some, uh, serious weaponry you've got there, sir. And a little mini pig as well. Cool. Okay. I guess we'll head on into Whiterun. There's a lot of cows there. I think someone's playing around with some magic over there. As one starts lifting off some in the distance. We're a bit hungry, a bit thirsty. We can grab something in town, I think. Oh, okay. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken leg to see him laugh his way out of that. Okay. Uh, horses. We should get a horse at some point. So, what? Sorry? Yes. Did you want something? Um. Are you okay? What? Um, um, see ya. Wait! Don't leave! I, I'm injured! Uh, yes, injured. You have to take me with you, otherwise I might die and you wouldn't want that on your conscience. You look alright to me? Yeah, well, that's because... Okay, fine. If you take me with you, I will make it worth your while. You won't find anyone tougher than me in Skyrim. Not to mention that's good looking. Um. I mean, we could do is and back up. Is that it? Aren't you going to flex your muscles and tell me how great you are? 
That seems to be the customary greeting in Skyrim. Anyway, there's no suppose about it. Everyone could use someone a little more like me. What happened to your clothes? What? I have no idea. My memory is a little fuzzy. If you happen to have any, I would appreciate it. Oh, and stop staring at my body. Oh, um, It's like you've never sorry. seen a semi-naked woman before. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if you are so tough and independent, why do you need my help? I don't. I thought I would help you out. I didn't ask for any well, help. I was hoping you would kind of keep me company. Look, I know it sounds weird, but it's no fun on my own. You can tell me to leave if you want, but surely you can at least give me a chance? Uh, so why are we out on your own, and why do you stink of booze? I'm not allowed out on my own now. I had a little too much to drink. So what? I guess I must have passed out. I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. Actually, I'm not really that bothered. Okay. Where do you want me to take you? I don't know. I'll just go wherever you are going. I will repay your kindness by fighting alongside you. Surely that's an offer you can't refuse. Well, we do need some help, I guess. We're going to be killing a lot of bandits, Sophie. I hope you're okay with that. Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright. Don't start fuzzing over me. I'm more than capable of handling myself. You have no clothes. Oh, I haven't introduced myself, have I? My name is Sophia, but you probably already knew that. Yeah, funny that. I'm quite well known in Skyrim, although sometimes I'm not sure if it's for the right reasons. I kind of see myself as an adventure, although it's no fun without anyone to witness my heroic deeds, such as... Well, I'm sure there's probably something. I like to get drunk, kill stuff, and be a nuisance. So, what about you? Yeah, similar. Um... Yeah, my, my name's Falk Redspear. I'm a, a bit of a stranger to Skyrim. Well, then it must be your lucky day, as I know Skyrim like the back of my hand. Oh, that'd be useful. Of course, I have many other talents, so be sure to let me know if you need me. Okay. All right. Okay. It's odd. Do we have any... We sold all our clothes. We got some boots and so braces you can... See the Isle of White Run, then? Yeah. They wouldn't let me into Dragon's Reach. Apparently I wasn't important enough. I think we need to get you some clothes, Sophia. I think that might be why they didn't let you into Dragon's Reach. Um maybe maybe this guy here. Um hello. Uh what have you got for sale? Got any clothes? I've got some robes. Uh cloak. I guess I guess she can have some brown robes for now. Thank you, Rissad. Um, hi. Uh, no, I wanted to talk to you. What's on your mind? Uh, yeah, you, you need some stuff. Okay. Uh, there we go. That's that's a little bit better. Okay. Yes, let's go. We'll get you some armor, but, well, I don't know why I have to kit you out. But anyway, at least you have some clothes now. Don't know if they would let us into the city with you dressed that way, to be fair. But uh, anyway, off we go. Looks like uh, Whiterun's seen some better days, to be fair. Hmm. Well, it looks like someone's just abandoned it here. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're... I've got some news about the dragons. Okay, good, good to know. Whew. So, we've made a new friend, it would seem. A little strange, for sure. But, uh, it's a bit smoky around here, isn't it, guys? Jesus. Come <laughs> yeah. 
Whew. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric Stormcloak. Oh. Besides, Greymane hmm. would never make steel for the Legion. Have Why is it so smoky I'll here? I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Uh, hi. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yeah, but we do kind of need to buy some stuff. Or deal some damage. I'm trying to get her some clothes. Have you got any leather armor? You got some steel, and steel is really expensive. Okay, apparently everything is super expensive, so we could craft something. How, how much can you just? Oh my god! Look at that. Now that is a shield. Um, armor. If we wanted to craft some iron, we need a conundrum. Uh, okay. Ah, wolf pelt, leather strips, and leather for the fur armor. Don't know what the hell that is. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think extracted holy light. Okay, yeah, we're probably quite far away from that. <laughs> One day, maybe. One day. Uh, okay. Hell Slayer's Gauntlets. So in case you didn't know, I have installed some mods which allow me to um, craft, like, extra things. But um, I, I generally don't know all the stuff, so this is a little bit uh, interesting. Oh, okay, here we go. We can craft some iron armor with just... We just need three leather strips. Um, get out of this of smoke central around here. Ah, hello. Yeah, I just wanted to get some... Good. Have you got any leather strips, sir? You have indeed. Let's take about, like, ten of them. We haven't got much money, actually. Let's take, like, eight of them. Thank you. Crafting feathers, 45. Okay, Good interesting. With you. Uh, you know what we can do, Sophia? We can actually just get rid of that... Uh, that, that little... Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh my god. It's so smoky. I know it's like fog, to be fair, but... We can oh hello, look at all the stuff we can now craft, eh? Uh right, iron armor. Hmm. That looks like a slightly different type to normal. We'll take it. Okay. I think it's fair. We'll take the iron armor, she can have our fur armor. I think that's probably fair. Let's see how it fits. Oh. Feeling a little self conscious. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love saying that to guys when they are with their wives. They don't know what to say. As if they say yes, their wives get jealous. And if they say no, I pretend to be really upset and they feel bad. You're what? a horrible person. I have to amuse myself somehow. Okay. Yes. Okay, but don't push your luck. Literally giving you some armor. There we go. That's better. You actually look pretty good. Good in right, armor. Then. Okay, yeah, we uh, okay, cool. Forget your backpack as well, you can carry a load of my stuff. Huh, what's that? I mean, I said we'll, we'll look and see what we can get you. Evening. Okay. Uh, sorry? Ah. General goods. Welcome to Bellathor's general goods. Welcome ah. indeed. Hi. Bellathor, I take it. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Haha. <laughs> Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You've literally just called your stuff junk. Anyway, um we don't need any of that. Ooh, backpack. We are running a bit low. Okay, that's uh, interesting. 
yeah. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Very expensive though. We get ourselves a little cloak. It's pretty expensive. Have we got mm, we've got a few trinkets to sell. Um, I don't think we need anything else. Water skin maybe. A bit more water. Probably just about do the job, I think. Okay, Sophia. Okay, that's the inn. We could stay there for the night. I don't know if bought. Someone's having an argument in town. Okay. Okay. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Okay. Interesting. Okay, not going on in town at the minute. And daughter to reclaim some rusty interesting thieves does someone one, say maybe two good men hmm, two well I'll one and a half you can claim your sword or you can keep your wife if you set foot outside that gate i won't be here when you return uh hello can you help over here work? it might suit you um what are you two arguing about my sapphire doesn't like that i've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword he fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby. But I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Okay. If you Sapir. Thank you. Wait, I You Okay. Anyway, interesting. Oh, there's the uh, companions up there. Why is it so foggy? <laughs> uh, this is the um, traditional place here. If you ever want to test your, your FPS, this um, view down onto White Run, although to be fair, we're quite obscured today by the, the mist. That, that area there is renowned for uh, tanking your, your FPS. Okay, we're here to see the girl. <laughs> oh, whoa, Jill. Nice hair. Um, uh, yeah, I've news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Okay. Hi. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Um... Yeah, so, uh, the dragon destroyed Helgen and I... And the last I saw it was headed this way. was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not... I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold. He says as he slouches in his chair. <laughs> like he couldn't give a damn. At once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. I won't forget it. Here. Take this oh, as a small token thank you. of my esteem. Steel armor. Is another thing you could do for me suitable for someone of your or 
particular talents? Oh, really? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay, I mean, it's it's not really my expertise. The group seem to be confused. I just saw one once, but but sure. Also, I'll take that steel armor though. Looks good. I think we can take this face guard off, this face mask off here. Feels a little rude. Everybody is arguing. You know what I love to do when I have a little too much spare gold? I find a beggar and pay them to harass people. You're a terrible they person. They are so desperate for money that they will do almost anything. Anyway, uh, where were we? Hello. Hi. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that oh, may or may not actually be there. Well, just, just tell me what I need to do. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak, Bleak Falls Barrow. Barrow. That's where that Dragon's guy said, said the uh, claw was stolen. Okay, we were going to go there anyway. Find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Okay. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Okay. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. Yeah, maybe. A miserable little village a few miles oh, south. Looks nice. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Thank you. Um, how do you know this stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, we must preserve some professional secrets, must we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. Uh, what have you got for sale? I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Well, I dabble. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, wow, they're expensive, though. Compost. That sounds good. Okay. We'll have a look another time when we actually have some money. Cool. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Majors College in Winterhold. Thank you. Okay, Sophia, looks like we, uh... Oh. Of course, you all about Ruth. Seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Thanks. Succeed in this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. Okay, this is coming up trumps already because we are already going to be heading there. So that's pretty good. I shouldn't really take that out inside here. Um, okay, excellent, Sophia, my able assistant. So oh, got still foggy. To Bleak Falls Barrow to retrieve some ancient artifact. Yeah. Sounds like my kind of adventure. Okay, we're Although not I'm going there just yet. About the Draugr. Draugr? I doubt my feminine beauty is going to cut it with those guys. I doubt they even have any. You know, the difference between a man and a woman. What is wrong with you? Anyway, she's a strange one. This girl. Um. Yeah, but before we do that, I noticed that we have a Silent Moons and a Haunted Stream Cap just up here. And Dustman's Cairn, which we uh, have uh, some bounties for. And I think it would be rather rude of us if we didn't uh, pay them a little village. Now, what's the time? It's only 4pm. I think we've got enough time for some bandit slaying, don't you? Oh, shush. Maybe we can get out of this fog at some point. Somebody needs to sort out the, uh... Oh, I said it out loud, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Let me guess. They're saying it's because of this trouble okay. with the Stormcloaks. Okay. Exactly. a busy little town, actually. Okay. Well, we got ourselves some nice steel armor. Yes, we'll leave immediately. Oh, they're going to, uh... Three guards against a dragon. 
I had to get an entire... Oh! No, you just walked in front of me, so yeah, sorry. Uh, three guards against an entire town. Uh, sorry, an entire dragon that took out an entire town. Sounds reasonable, doesn't it? What could go wrong? Apparently it's still pretty foggy out. Okay. That is a view though. One thing you can definitely say about Skyrim is it has its views. It has its moments. Oh, he's off to Riverwood. <laughs> I was like, where's this guy going? Uh, can I cross this way? Hey there. Careful you don't fall. Um, that's a nice looking uh, place over there, isn't it? Okay, right, we want to head this way, I believe, according to the map. Yes. Silent moons. White run, looking pretty grand. Goat farmer. Just wandering around here. It's very quiet out here though. Well, apart from the massive line of goats. You okay there, buddy? Jesus Christ, you're ripped. <laughs> Flipping heck. Lucius Lusardis. Wow. Obviously goat farming is intense physical work. Who'd have thought? Ah, giants. We'll stay away from there. That is for sure. Okay, this looks like exactly the sort of place that bandits will uh, hold up, I think. As if there's a sword here. Something heard you shout her. It scares the bejeebus out of me, to be honest with you, because I walked up to that sword. Um, that is actually better than what we've got. But ours is. So until the enchantment runs out, I'll, I think I'll use this one. Okay, there appears to be some. Are they soldiers over there? They're wolves attacking now? Oh, crikey. We might want to get our bow out, I think. Let me try and pick one of these guys. Oh, no. Ah. Get him, Sophia. That is leather there. We'll take that. Thank you. Oh, the DPS on my mouse suddenly went really low. Okay, looks like we had our first crash. <laughs> um, no problem whatsoever. We'll just load back in. The thing about uh, those sort of crashes is they do just... Um, they don't cut my recording. Um, they just um, take us back to the desktop, luckily. Sometimes you have the other crashes, which just completely restart your computer, and then you have some serious problems from there. But... Um, because that you'll corrupt your recording, you um, will lose everything that's happened, which is incredibly annoying. But uh, there you go. Now we'll just load back in. It does take a little bit longer to load up than uh, normal Skyrim, I guess, because of all the mods, etc., etc. Um, but uh, that's understandable. But I think I saved it as we were kind of wandering across there, so we won't lose much progress, I don't think. If I actually edited my videos, I would edit that out. Um, but I don't. <laughs> so, uh, and I've kind of spoken about this before, I don't, because it actually takes, actually takes a long time to actually edit um, videos and, and 
all that type of stuff, so I, I don't actually do that. Because I don't really enjoy it. So like, what would I do if I didn't enjoy it? I'd rather record. And what we're also going to have is the EMB uh, will create a letterbox style effect, which we'll have to take off because, yeah, it does that. Which I, I like personally, but um, I know some like a lot of people just don't like it because, to be fair, if, if you watch if you're playing it on a monitor, it's fine. Um, what am I doing here? There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, if you pl if you play it on a monitor, it's it's fine. I think or if you're watching it on a TV or something like that, it, it's a good effect. But if you're watching it on a phone, like the majority of people do nowadays. Um, at least according to my like demographics, is that incredibly buff goat farmer? Um, yeah, if you are um, playing it on a uh, or yeah viewing it on a phone, that that is just really annoying. So I take it off. Even though if I was just playing this through on my own, I think I would uh, I would definitely have it on because I just I, for some reason I really like that effect. Even though it's just a couple of black bars, it's weird. Because I, I did that my Fallout playthrough. Oh, here's that. Uh, you're feeling a bit fatigued. Okay, well. We've got bandit killing. And a little bit thirsty. I think we'll keep our head kind of clear. I'm going to assume that. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready for this, Sophia? Could get messy again. I'll just uh, drop a save there. The people of Skyrim have very dirty minds. I say the most innocent of things, and they all get the wrong idea. Yeah, yeah. I suppose you're a bit like that as well. I'm sorry. Right, here we go. Oh God! Duck and weave, duck and weave. Okay, game severe. Okay, good. Anybody else? The basic plan here, Sophia, is we think you took it. No, you're okay. Uh, we loot the bodies, take everything of value, strip them, and uh, sell the stuff off. Arrows, mead, but only if it doesn't weigh very much. So, we'll like we'll take that. Is there somebody up here? Yeah, there is a lot. Oh god. I'm stuck. No longer stuck. Nice. Oh, leather armor. There we go, thank you. Mmm, salmon steaks for lunch. Aren't we lucky? Okay, let's see what they've got going on up here. Okay, I think they've heard us. This guy's not even wearing armor. Okay, okay, chill. There we go. Okay. Uh, I said chill when the lady's using her. Uh... Okay, well done. Good effort. Ooh, hello. Conjure rabbit. I don't know why I'd want to conjure a rabbit, but... Uh, we already have that book where we can sell it. The Lunar Forge. Oh, interesting. Oh. So apparently they, it's a special forge here. Very interesting. Yeah, the local take that as well. Ooh, some iron ingots. Mind if I do. Uh, right, what do you guys have? Ale, yes please. Lockpick. Ooh. New bow. I don't know whether or not to take the 
We should take these because we can actually melt them down into iron. I don't think we need anything else though. Okay. Mission successful so far. Let's get that bow. I'll keep it for now. How far away am I from carry away? I'm doing alright actually. We'll just unfavorite it, obviously. War axe is slightly better. I'm just carrying using this for now. It looks really nice with these iron swords. I uh, got a mod which actually like sharpened up their appearance as it were. Okay, the fog's gone. I think I saw a little entrance around here, didn't I? Yes. Okay. I'm just gonna level up first, I think. Uh yeah, let's do stamina again. So we did smithing. Let's actually do like one handed. I think we need to do a bit more damage. Okay. So I believe we have a um an actual bandit to kill in here. Okay. There's someone there. Okay. I think they've seen us. Okay, we seem to be stuck. Oh Christ. Okay. Anybody else? If anybody comes through, we hold this door, okay, so if you ever get... Oh, crap, he's got a big axe. Uh, yeah, you wanna... Okay. There we go. This happens when you don't wear armor, idiot. Oh, that apparently was the guy. That's a pretty nice war axe, we'll take that. Uh, what do you have? A brigand plate harness. Is that better than what we've got? Uh, it actually is, isn't it? Yeah. A steel tanto. Interesting. Oh no, it's not. It was the weight, not the armor. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to drop it because it's really not. It's really way too heavy. I mean, I guess you could have it, but I think you're more of a light armor kind of girl, aren't you? Hello. We'll take that though. It's interesting carvings going on here on the wall. It's like somebody got bored and just carved the entire wall out. Some apples. Tomatoes, excellent. Okay. You just had flour and stuff, yeah, cool. Okay. Any more? chest. Well, now that's interesting. Ooh. Don't need a wooden club though. Oh. No sneaking up, please. Thank you. Anybody else? Doesn't look like it, does it? Doesn't look like it. Um. Thanks. Okay, we're okay with lockpicks, but uh, we're not great. Um, I'm pretty sure that was unlocked. There we go. Hello, no one here. Good. Very nice. Take that. Oh, hello. Don't need one of those. Aren't we doing okay? I think I'm alright for food, actually, for, weirdly enough. I'll take the troll fat, though. Cool. I call that a very profitable little adventure. Plus, we're going to get our reward of actually killing those guys. Oh, and another chest. Very good. Okay, excellent. More bandits ended. It's getting a little bit late, but I think we can still 
What was it? 7 p.m. I think we can still make it to the uh, the other one over here. There's some wolves up here. We're going to have to be careful. Time to test out that new bow, I think. I could give one to you, actually, so big, couldn't I? Nice. She's, she's uh, proving to be pretty useful so far, don't you think? Uh, okay. How many charges we got? Oh, we're about halfway through on this, so we're still okay. Oh, really? Uh, we'll, we'll, let's get paid first, and we'll see. We'll see what we can do, eh? Mm, mud crabs. Okay, this looks like something up here. Okay, there's already a battle going on over here. There's already arrows flying everywhere. Let's see if we can't maybe. Are they guards? Yeah, they're guards. Oh, that's not a guard. Let's go through the back way. And you're finished. You're welcome, guys. Mm, it did. Yeah, it's slightly different to uh, some bandits, though. Okay. So we had a bounty over here as well. Let's have a look and see who's inside, shall we? Okay. I recognise that. That's a pressure plate of here. Do not tread on it. Okay, we've been seen. Okay. Iron katana. Vampire armor. Yeah, you might like that. You might like this. Uh, I thought it would be the sort of thing you'd wear. There you go. I think that will do though, won't it? Oh, I could give you a bow, I guess. And I'll give you some arrows. And a torch. Okay. I'm glad that's sorted. Now you're looking a little bit more badass. Okay. A bit hungry and a bit thirsty. Okay. Careful. Glad you got a torch out, that's actually very useful. Okay, there seems to be quite a lot of them. Um, okay. Oh shit. Okay. As I said, two handed weapons do tend to do quite a lot of damage. Right. down here. There we go. Got a 
a lot of uh, tan on your face there, haven't you? Uh, right. What were we talking about here? We wanted to trade some stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Um, can I give you my ingots? And a torch. That was pretty useful for you to have a torch, actually. And a bow. And some arrows. Okay. Yes, okay. let's go. Let's just save that. What is this? Mammoth tusks. They are worth a lot of money. Interesting. It's quite revealing that armor actually. <laughs> Didn't quite realise. Actually we'll be okay for without eating, I think. Okay. Have you got anything we can take here? That would probably be useful. Right. Shit. Okay. Potion. Okay, I need to get rid of this bat. This mage. Oh shit, there's a guy with a... Okay, he's the he's the bounty. Okay. Oh shit. So, no, I hope you're doing okay, Sophia. Okay. Come on, buddy. Shit. Okay, it appears to be somebody smashing my head in at the back. Me there? Okay. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Let's get more damage. Take it back about those big sticks, by the way. That's it, go. That was a tough fight. Okay, well done. Good effort. Here's our bounty. He had a steel staff, battle axe, steel dagger, and a steel war axe. Still works better than what we've got. Hello. Nice. A little bit over encumbered. Okay, bit of gold. Take those leather boots, why not? So iron sword, we don't want that. And what did this guy have on him? Okay. Steel dagger. They don't have a smelt here though, do they? I kind of want to take these mammoth tusks. Oh my god, there's loads of them. snouts. Key. Uh, we can break down some of this stuff, I think, for here. Whoops. That didn't really help, I don't think. 
And a little chest at the end here as well. I'm gonna have to dump a lot of this stuff on Sophia. Was there something you wanted? Yeah. Are you poking out of that armor or is that just uh, anyway. Um Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? <laughs> no. Uh What else can we give her? Mammoth tusks. There we go. Thank you. I'm here. If you have Don't know if we could give you that armor, you know. Might be a little bit revealing. Which is a bit weird because I've got a mod which makes them, that not happen. How odd. It's, uh, there was something I wanted to ask you. Are yep, you definitely you know can't wear that armor. <laughs> no, like, uh, yeah. Okay, could be, which one's better, studded or leather? Leather. Okay. Uh, How about you take me instead? Damn it! That came out wrong. What are you going on about, woman? Oh god, we can play Frank Dykes. There we go, that's better. Now you're wearing that. And you can have a brown cloak for it as well. That's much better. And we'll wear the grey one. Yes. Much better, I, I believe. There's a lot of iron around here, but you know what? I think we're going to have enough just from breaking down a lot of this stuff. So I'll save everybody's time by not picking any of it up. Did I tell you about the time I nearly made two people die without even touching them? I didn't feel like wearing clothes that day. One what? man nearly choked to death on a piece of bread when he saw me, and the other fell over a bridge and nearly drowned. <laughs> Hilarious. This girl is weird. Uh, where'd that mage... Oh, there he is. Okay. So, we've had an alright day, haven't we? Very productive. Two bandit camps done. In one day. That's like three in total, I think. I think we get back, sell a lot of stuff. We'll be uh, ready to kit ourselves out for even more bandit camps. Definitely. Right, definitely getting late, so I think it's about time we head back straight to the uh, that tavern and get a good night's sleep. Sounds like a reasonable plan, I think. White run all lit up at night. That is a very bright moon. I'll give them that. I get the feeling like being out here on these planes at night is not the best. Uh, oh God, I'd wonder what that was. It's the deer. Okay. Yeah, I get a feeling it's not the smartest idea to be out here. There's a little cottage up there. There's something over there. Maybe we're okay. Giants camp over there. And now I can hear wolves. That telltale panting of. Oh, it's a fox. Okay. Okay, we went the wrong way.
But yeah, you can see that um, in terms of the difficulty of the combat and stuff like that, it's. Uh, it is a strange sight. The white flakes that sometimes fall from the sky. Yes, it is strange. Um, yeah, the combat is kind of. It's a lot faster, which kind of makes it a bit more realistic, although that bounty target was a lot harder. Um, I can up the number of bandits as well, which I might well do. Give ourselves a little bit. Now that we've got like Sophia with us, we can probably afford to go up a notch there. Um, but yeah, you can kind of see that the combat's a little bit faster, or should be a little bit faster, because we do more damage, they do more damage. Um, yeah, so that, that's that kind of a recipe for quicker combat, isn't it? One of you is going to die quickly. Don't know which one, but one of you. You know what we might do? We might just quickly use this smelter. I'm sure. That, oh god, just leaving your steel ingots out. Okay, iron ore. Um, iron tantos. You right there, Sophia? Steel daggers. This is great. We're going to be able to craft anything we want. Iron katanas give us steel. Interesting. Steel war axe, I think we might want to keep. But we just didn't. Cool. Can we actually... Uh, does the most damage? Steel Warhammer. Die Katana. Oh wow, look at that. That is cool. Cyrodiilic Steel, Steel Sword. That's very nice. That does 22 damage, which is actually a lot. I think we should probably think about making that. Potentially kit ourselves out with some decent stuff. I'll probably look at this off camera a little bit rather than bore you guys a little bit too much. But anyway, we'll finish up there for now. Where's that sword? That's a nice looking sword. We'll probably get you one as well, I think. It's been a fair bit cheaper when you can make everything yourself. Is that Everybody's kind of uh, decided to get up while we're out here. Uh, hopefully this place will have a room spare. Because we are pretty knackered right now. Oh my god. What the hell's going on here? One of those weird bugs, isn't it? Okay. Don't know what exactly happened there. We might have to leg it. I might just finish this episode here, guys. We'll work out something from there. Till next time. Bye bye. Oh dear. <laughs>